Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Um, another edition of Zeem Goes Live. Um, like, the week went by like that. <laughs> How is it already Friday? Um, but anyhow, uh, so many great updates to share. So as usual, um, anytime that I come on, um, we're just going to be talking uh, travel business. And um, travel is booming. Things are getting busy. Um, so I don't even know like how much I have to say today except for um, people are on the go um, and it's exciting. It's an exciting time in travel. Um, it's an exciting time to learn about different places and help people plan um, for their amazing trips. And um, on the other hand, um, with Empowerment Through Golf, we've been doing some amazing things as always in the background. So shout out to the team there. Um, so firstly let's jump into travel um obviously um the holiday season or like the summer holiday season is over people are sending their children back to school and then uh, the next round of travel planning is for christmas break and so uh those things are coming in um as always we're learning so much in the world and uh, space of travel marketing, um, you know, how to promote your travel business, how to stay organized and keep things in order for your clients, um, new trends in the business, what to look out for um, so that you can help people travel um, well, you know, especially with uh, everything that's happening out in the world right now. Um, you are definitely like that center of peace uh, for your clients as you help them plan uh, their travel overseas. Um, and then something that was kind of interesting, I guess, um, in one of our meetings, someone mentioned, you know, like if there are people who, you know, do not want to do like a whole lot of international travel, like America is huge. And so, you know, if there's different cities that you want to check out, um, also let me know. they will be kind of cool to just do like, um, make local trips, um, out of state trips and things like that. Um, Cool. So now that we got travel out of the way, um, I wanted to share a little bit about what's been happening with uh, Empowerment Through Golf as well. So last weekend, we had our virtual mentorship call um, and we were talking or giving the students tips on, um, you know, starting to prepare or create their brand. Our, our topic was creating your unique brand. Um, and unfortunately, most of our students couldn't be there because um, we have uh, students overseas and, um, you know, they were dealing with like hurricanes and things are prepping for hurricanes. Um, and then also a golf tournament, you know, golf is life for these students. Um, but again, just wanted to say thank you to uh, everyone who came out to speak on our panel. Um, at least we have a great recording to share with our students. A lot of really good tips. Um, some things that I didn't know, um, but I'm really excited to share with our students and hopefully like it, you know, the advice takes them a really, really long way. And then um, coming up this weekend, um, we have our young juniors who will be coming out uh, for lessons at um, our teaching facility. So every third Saturday of the month, we do our junior lessons um, here in San Diego at Sorrento Canyon. Um, and we're looking forward to see our students again this weekend. This will be their first time going on the driving range proper. Uh, we've kept them in the practice range, the practice area. So just like short game, teaching them how to chip, teaching them how to putt, teaching them the rules of golf and things like that. Um, but now we're going to transition, uh, take them over to the driving range and see what they have. I know a lot of them are excited uh, for this part. Um, this is the fun part. Um, so they did all of the developmental work um, and this is going to be the fun part for them um, where they just get to like go out there and launch it. Yeah. Um, so it seems really quiet this morning. Um, but as always, like I can just share uh, different things that we're learning in the industry. Um, the last time I shared with you guys about the, um, the cruise um, like the luxury types of cruises and that got really good responses like people were really interested in that um, so um, what was I gonna say just about like uh, creating sort of like your niche in the industry and I think yeah I feel like I've uh, figured out what I wanted to do I like um, 
obviously I would love to be able to continue to send people to the Caribbean but obviously wherever you want to go like I will help you book your travel um, but the idea of just being able to do like really really nice things for people so like on the luxury end I think that's where like I'm sort of heading um, and um, it's kind of interesting to uh, learn about people's travel styles and things like that so it's really really fun um, and I'm excited about uh, the work um, and then also I learned about um, Marriott resorts um, so all you know like all of the different brands I'm pretty sure you guys are more than familiar with all of their different brands um, but the reserve one was like something that I thought was really interesting uh, very different from I think what I've always seen from that brand um, so just on the air of like more um more of an escape uh type of setup that they have um at these locations which is like really really um sought after i think now especially now when these times where people are just like i just need to get away and not be around too many people but like feel like i'm thousands of miles away from other people uh so the marriott reserve was really good for that um, and then, um, what else did I want to share on the travel side? Uh, just more, uh, planning for group travel. Um, so that'll always be really good. Um, and then also just more interest in the business. So I don't know, but I've just been like unashamed to talk about what I'm doing and I love it. Um, and it's good because there are people who travel like for fun and I'm just like did you know that you could be like a profession at this like did you know like you could make this your job and not just like you know out there traveling um, just for the fun of it like you're already so good at it like you know what you like you know where you like to stay you know all the ins and outs already um, people probably are already asking you for travel tips and things like that um, so you can make this part of your job or like your lifestyle, right? Like not part of your job. Um, it would be something different. Um, but yeah, like I've just been talking to people on that leg and um, it's been really good just to, to get to know people, um, what their interests are and things like that. And then just also um, connecting with other, um, connecting with some of the other stories from the leadership in our business um, when you see generations of women just owning it in this business, it's kind of amazing. Uh, there is a super sa um, Saturday locker room, uh, Planet Locker Room, that we host, or the company hosts, not me. Um, but that's the time when you are able to see like the people who have been promoted through like the different levels of the organizations. And the last one was really great. Uh, there's, uh, there, I think like, I don't want to say somebody's granny was on there, but like essentially, <laughs> you know, like this lady, she's like already accomplished so much in like her previous professional life. Um, and then, um, came on and just to speak about, Hey morning, uh, just to speak about, you know, what it took for her to be able to be good in, in this business. Um, and then others who, you know, um, maybe like not as aged and mature as that young lady, um, but the generations kept changing. But one thing was consistent was that these ladies had um, taken note of what the business was, what the business could do for them, what it could do for others. Um, and they allowed themselves to step forward and, you know, be the leaders that they knew that they could be always probably wanted to be or have been in different industries before and they apply that to um, their business uh, their travel marketing business so it was really great just to hear those stories um, from women who are just pushing you know uh, and they're being successful and so it's just encouraging on my end um, to be able to like have these uh, stories or um, testimonials, I guess, for a frame of reference, uh, just to keep pushing. Um, so as always, um, I am your travel agent, your luxury travel agent. Um, if ever you're thinking of travel, I hope that you think of me. <laughs> I would love to book all of your travel needs. If you have any questions about travel, um, any, um, you know, things are changing daily. 
Um, so reach out with any questions. Um, if you're uh, thinking of being part of the business, again, reach out. I would love to have you on the team. Um, and then on the side with Empowerment Through Golf, if you had any questions about what our organization is doing here locally in San Diego or abroad, definitely uh, take a look at our site. It's etghub.com, so etghub.com um, or .org, excuse me. And um, yeah, we're doing some awesome things. Um, definitely riding the waves. Students are interesting. Um, their lives are really packed already. Um, but again, we're just trying to be uh, like a guiding force, you know, just put in a little good into their lives and hopefully goes a long way. Um, so our junior golfers here in San Diego are doing great. Uh, they're gonna be learning more skills on the range. Um, our students overseas um, are working on developing uh, tournament experience so that they can be prepped for uh, college application season. Um, you know, and then last thing that we spoke with them about or at least shared with them was about creating their unique brand. So they are student athletes, but they definitely have other interests outside of golf. Um, they have things that they want to study, that they know what they want to do already when they get to college and things like that. So the only thing that we have to do is just try our best to impart some wisdom, uh, let them know the things that are essential uh, for creating their unique brand. And essentially, it literally is just being themselves, right? So there's nothing else that they need to do in order to be successful except be their true self and everything else will come. Uh, continue to have discipline, uh, continue to work towards your goals, be open, be optimistic, um, and then the world is yours, you know? Um, so we are super excited um, to be able to share those types of messages with them. Um, the next session that we have for the virtual mentorship uh, program will be on the day of the girl, and that's gonna be like another international um, piece that we do. Um, we're hoping to get a lot of support there for people on the panel. Um, obviously, we'll have a lot of work to do in the background for technical uh, reasons um, because we may have um, some of the uh, some of the students over in uh, Ethiopia. Um, so, and they will obviously be a little bit more uh, tough to reach, uh, just because of like the technical difficulties um, over there. Um, but it will be amazing, still for all, um, and I cannot wait. And uh, just. I'm happy that we continue to be able to do this work with our organization. And so again, you know, like we're a global organization. So anytime I think of the uh, the work that we will be doing or we are doing, obviously I think of travel as well. So I just see the parity um, with the work that I'm doing in travel um, and the work with empowerment through golf. Um, I'll be able to, we will be able to go hopefully, uh, to the different locations that we're servicing, um, or just be able to do the work and travel and support the mission. So uh, everything works in a cohesive manner. Um, but I will keep it sweet and short today as usual, or at least like I hope I do. Um, but again, I just wanted to say, um, again, thanks for tuning in. Um, and then, you know, just the things that we covered over the past couple of weeks are just about, you know, being ready to accept your travel clients, finding things that they like and that they will enjoy, um, finding a niche. Again, like I mentioned that before, but, you know, I think finding a niche in like luxury is really nice because, you know, um, people like nice things and we deserve nice things. Uh, so finding niches um, in the business, um, being organized for when you do start to, you know, when the doors open, you know, and this is just a, um, I'm here to say, hey, business is open, <laughs> kind of. Um, so yeah, uh, those are the main takeaways from this past um, two weeks. Uh, definitely just been working on travel um, and getting things in order for others. Um, sharing the opportunity as always with anyone who's interested in being part of the business. It is a great community to be a part of. Um, and again, like I do this on a part-time basis. I like, I'm going to get ready to go into the lab in a little bit. Um, and like I have loads of studying to do. Um, but I got to make time for it. I'm making time for my future. Um, so that's my why. 
and um, hope that everyone can connect with their why and find uh, something that uh, they can relate to in the world of travel marketing that could be beneficial for them. And then um, my other heartstring, empowerment through golf, or at least like the, the that's the main thing, <laughs> is empowerment through golf. Um, we are just making sure that our students know that um, they are unique. Um, they can create a brand around themselves so that um, they can get accepted for any opportunity that they apply for. The first one is probably going to be their college after that for their internships. Next, landing the job, you know, all of these things. Um, and then now it's like a very social media type of um, era. Um, so going after, going after the things that they want. Um, even through social media, um, connecting with people uh, to get their name heard, get their voice heard, um, and just continue to advance themselves. So we're doing a lot of really great things in the background. Um, and if you have more questions, definitely reach out to me. I'm more than willing and happy to speak to you about everything that's going on. So tune in with me again in the next two weeks for Lean Goes Live. And um, enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone. Thank you. Bye.